All right, located off I-16, the city of Dublin getting ready to welcome some new faces. A lot of folks in Florida have already evacuated, and now people in coastal Georgia have to decide when and where to go as Ian continues moving along. Molly Jett went to Lawrence County to show what hurricane evacuees will find in Dublin. Other than a little bit more wind this afternoon, downtown Dublin is business as usual. I spoke to some business owners who say they've seen this before and they're ready to welcome anyone who chooses Lawrence County as a place to visit and seek shelter away and ahead of the storm. Located right off I-16, you'll find the city of Dublin. Every time there's been a major incident in Florida or the coast, uh, people have come here and I think they've been uh, met pretty well by the community. Richard Mascaro left Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina. I'm really familiar with evacuating from hurricanes. We just didn't do it until after Katrina. Now he owns company supply downtown. Mascaro says he will help others if they need it. Good people take care of people. Dublin has several other restaurants and shops, including the Visitor Center, where visitors can learn about Georgia-grown products. Visit Dublin Executive Director Miriam Lewis says there is plenty for people to do, and they're prepared to show others around town. It's the community spirit, and it's especially evident during hurricane season because the entire community really comes together. Lewis says in the past, Dublin folks have allowed evacuees to bring horses and RVs to their farms. That's the spirit of Lawrence County and Dublin all the time, but it's very evident during the hurricanes, um, just people opening up their their hearts and their homes. I don't know how many evacuees are going to come, but uh, there's some potential here. And, you know, if we're called on, we have some space to put and house some people. Um, so I think people are willing to help people here, especially people that are stranded. The goal to leave one less family stranded in Dublin. Molly Jett, 13 W MAZ News. Lewis says they're watching the storm closely, and right now there are rooms available at the majority of their hotels.